guys i'm working on my bucket list as you can see behind me i have a giant dumpster it is time to clean out my barn i'm going to clean out the left side of the barn which you guys never see in videos because it's trashed out well today guys you're going to see it i'm going to go ahead and try to clean as much as i can today it's supposed to rain tomorrow so if it's not raining too much tomorrow i'm going to try to clean up as well then but for the most part i'm going to be cleaning up today the barn is way back there the dumpster is way up here there's a trailer in between there's no way around it it's been raining a lot so it's also muddy so i do have my john deere my gorilla cart so i'm gonna be making a ton of trips from the barn dumping stuff up here going back and forth so uh let's get to work all right so i made it out to the barn as you can see it is trashed out over here so just to give you a backstory, jason jaylene and myself when we got the property three years ago uh, we were living in a house and we didn't have enough room because we moved into the little shed to house that's over there that's half the size of the house we lived in. So uh, a lot of the stuff ended up out here in the barn. It's just trashed out. It's been needing to get cleaned up for a long time. But today, I'm checking that off my bucket list, getting this area cleaned up. I'm gonna try to make a little workshop back here, possibly put another stall over here for the animals. I have a refrigerator, that's what I keep most of my feet in. But all this junk behind me is gonna be out of here. It's gonna take forever to do. So much stuff in here. There are some things I'm probably gonna throw away. You guys are gonna say, why don't you keep that? Guys, there's been stuff sitting out here for almost three years that I haven't touched. If I haven't touched it in three years, that means I'm not gonna use it. Some of the stuff was given to us from one of the neighbors up the street. We didn't need it, but we took it anyways. So it's time to get rid of it. I do have some uh, tools and other, like a power washer and other things that I am gonna keep. So I'm just gonna move those out, put them out of the way and clean up all the trash. To be careful because there are black widows brown recluses out here and also snakes so i have my gloves on just in case i'm reaching down i know it's not going to stop a snake bite but at least it'll help a little bit it'll stop from the spiders getting to me but man it's gonna be a busy day dog crates somebody sent us it's all rusted out doesn't have the bottoms in it anymore so i'm gonna trash these things it's another thing i've been trying to just get rid of for the longest time
some things away. It either doesn't work or I know for a fact I'm not going to use it. This is one of them. Oh man. That thing is heavy. There we go. Move the dog feeder. Oh, I'm already tired and I just started. Oh. All right, I've been working out here for about an hour now. I got all the big bulk items out for the most part. I still need to move that bed back there. There is a tiller that's my uh, great grandpa's old tiller. I'm going to keep that. I think Jason's going to try to, I don't know, repair it and see if he can get the thing to work or something. But, uh, oh man, I'm tired, people. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of things to move by yourself. And uh, it doesn't help that I have the, the dumpster about, I don't know, 80 yards away from the barn. I couldn't bring it back here. The trailer's in the driveway. It's also been raining a lot, so there's a lot of mud. But I've just been going back and forth, back and forth with the trips with the mower and my gorilla cart a little bit at a time. But... I am making a dent in everything. There used to be two big shelves over there. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not, but this bed frame is going to go. Uh, this power washer is still good. I just need to try to repair it. Uh, it works. It just needs to be tuned up again. But so I got some fencing back there. Just a whole bunch of stuff that just needs to be raked up into a pile and thrown away. But I'm making progress, guys. One thing checked off my bucket list. This is another thing I'm trying to get checked off my bucket list. It's a lot. I'm gonna take a quick break and then I'm gonna come back and uh, try to knock the rest of this out. I got the bed frame out from there. I moved the plow over here to the side for now. I got the shelves out. My back hurts. That bed is heavy. I'm not even gonna lie. Jason knows how heavy that thing is. We built it. It probably weighs 500 pounds, not even joking. I had to take it in four different sections and I tell you what, that headboard, man. I had out of the back that little gorilla cart and the lawnmower was uh, shaking a little bit, pulling it. It was heavy, not gonna lie. Now I got the chickens back here helping clean up. I still got to rake a lot of this trash out. There's a section right here that I'm just going to fill up the cart and put it out there in the dumpster. But I'm making some good progress today. Been out here for about an hour and a half. Uh, there's still, uh, like the fridge is going to stay here. I'm going to keep the, some of the tools and stuff here. But uh, over here on this side, I have Jason's push mower, the ladder, some extra tools. I'm going to try to clean up that whole section over here, be able to put, park my lawnmower uh, right where that window is. Maybe put some tools along the wall. I might extend out uh, this fence right here. Might extend it out another section or so to have more room for the animals. Or I just might make this a little woodworking shop in here. The possibilities are endless. I'm excited. <sighs> I'm tired. Weather is perfect though. It's about 50 degrees and sunny. I've been moving around so much I don't need a jacket because it feels good. But uh, I'm thinking about taking off my jeans and putting on some shorts and getting in some tennis shoes. 
I got some jeans and boots on right now. Still have my gloves on. There have been a lot of spiders. I know we have black widows and brown recluses, like I said earlier. Haven't seen any snakes, but as you can see, possibly back behind here, like right there, there is a little gap underneath the barn where the, like where all the rain went down and it eroded out the dirt. So I'm probably gonna have to go back in, put some uh, field dirt in here or something. Maybe uh, lay a thing of hay down just to cover up some of the dirt and stuff right now, but. <sighs> Try to talk as much as I can so I don't have to get back to work, but it's not gonna get it's not gonna get done if I don't do it, so I'm gonna put the camera back down and get back to work. And that's why I have to be careful when I'm working out in the barn. I'm pretty sure that's a black widow. It's got the red stripe on its back. Oh man, I hate spiders. Check that thing out. No, thank you.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm exhausted, got a lot of stuff done today. I'm very proud of all the stuff I was able to do today. I'm gonna show you a quick clip of some trees that I had planted on the east side of the property. They're one of my favorite types of trees. I went and trimmed them up today, put some stakes down the ground to hold them in the ground better. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this clip. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be doing more yard work. I have some loblolly pine trees that I bought. I have eight of them that are on my, the east side of my property. These say that they are attractive through the winter time. They need six plus hours of sun, uh, weekly watering during the dry periods. They're in a hardy zone of negative 10 degrees, so perfect for Texas, it doesn't get that cold. And then they can get from 50 to 70 feet tall and 30 feet wide. I only put them about 15 feet apart. I do kind of want them to overlap, kind of make a wall. Uh, so to kind of block off my neighbors to the east of me. But uh, today's video, I'm going to be pruning these up. I'm going to be cutting all the small branches down from about uh, two feet down. And then I have a little stake that I'm going to stake them down just to hold them uh, in when it gets a little windy out here. So uh, let's get to work. All right, guys. So I bought some clippers from Walmart. These were $10. It's supposed to cut up to an inch thick branches. So plenty of uh, strength to cut these branches off. But like I said, I'm going to go down about or up about two feet and cut all the low hanging branches. First, because the dogs like to chew on branches, so if there's nothing that's low enough, they won't be chewing on it. Second off, it'll help let the rest of the tree grow up uh, big and strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off, all the little branches. It just cuts it super easy. I don't mind pruning up all these trees. I love doing yard work. So uh, if I have to do this once a year or so, I don't mind, or maybe twice a year, just cut all the low hanging branches. So I do have it about two feet up. I'm gonna leave the rest of the branches on here. I do have a stake here. It's just a plastic one from uh, Home Depot. It is five feet tall. So I'm gonna drive it to the ground a good foot or so. And then I'm going to zip tie to the tree just to hold it up. That ought to be good. I got three zip ties here. And yes, once the tree gets bigger, I will cut these off and I'll make the adjustments when I need to. So I'm gonna start up here at the top. This is probably the quickest way I can do it, is just zip tie it. Like I said, I'm gonna do three of them, one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. I love the way these trees smell. That's another reason why I bought them. Plus they just stay green year round. All right guys, so I have the tree nice and pruned, about two feet up off the ground. And then I do have the stake in here with the three zip ties like I just said. I have one down here at the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top here. But guys, I love these trees. They grow up nice and big. They stay green year round and just smell awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and prune up all the trees, go back and zip tie them all, and I'll check back with you guys here in a little bit. So I got all my trees staked up now. They're all pruned up. Last thing I do is just pick up all the, the limbs that are off on the ground, 
I'm gonna see if uh, maybe the animals will eat them. I'm not sure. I have to look into it first to see if it's okay for them to eat. If it is, I'll feed it to them. If not, I'll just throw it out in the back pasture. But as you can see, guys, I have a uh, an entire wall of these loblolly pine trees, which I absolutely love.